Hey, what's going on guys? ZKiwi here on an Arma 3 with another tutorial from the Asylum Altus Life server. So what we're going to be talking about today is another phenomenal money making strategy. The only catch is this is completely legal so you don't have to worry about cops or bounty hunters breathing down your neck. But before we do anything, I want to thank you guys and give you all a shout out for your tremendous support. It really means a lot to me. I'm going to continue making these videos and, and give you guys the best content that I can to continue catering to what you guys like to see. So thank you again. The first thing you're going to want to do is to buy a debit card. Uh, if you've watched my previous video with the Scotch Run tutorial, you'll know that having a debit card is essential to mitigating the risk of losing copious amounts of money. Granted, excavation doesn't require you know a lot of money to withdraw to be able to buy the materials that, and gear that you need to begin with. But uh, you know when you do start making money and stuff like that, and you want to buy bigger guns and things of that nature, if you do die with that cash on you, you do know when you die, you drop all the money. So essentially, you're losing all of that money. So just go ahead and spend the $2,500 and buy that debit card. And you're going to go ahead and buy the required gear. You need all of the required gear that I'm going to be listing off here to run a flawless excavation. So first you're going to need a wreck excavator, which enables you to actually pull the treasure out of the ship. And then you're going to need a carry all backpack, which is the largest backpack you can get. And then you're going to need a, a vehicle alarm. So you know if somebody's breaking into your truck. Very important. Then you're going to need a pair of night vision goggles, which is going to enable you to see and maneuver in low light situations. Finally, or not finally, but then you're gonna need a rook with three mags or any weapon of your choosing. Um, I kind of leave this open-ended, but a rook is the cheapest and it's legal, so you don't really run into any issues. And then you're gonna need a box truck to put all the oil and jewelry you get, okay? Um, so, the first place we're gonna be going to here is the general store from Kavala Square, seeing since the excavation site we do work with, which is the best one, is in Kavala. So right here on the left, we're gonna go in here, pay $100 for a pair of night vision goggles. Once we buy that, we're going to move on to the, uh, it'll be the second or third door, excuse me, the third door on the left here. Boom. That is the clothing store. And here you're going to buy your carry all backpack. Again, the color does not matter. It doesn't make any difference. It's entirely your choice, but make sure you do buy a carry all backpack. It's three, 250 bucks. All right. Now we're going to run back towards the market and from the market, you're going to buy the wreck excavator, food and water if you need to, red ghouls, things of that nature, but really you're not going to need it since you're going to be coming to and from the city so often you'll be able to handle your dehydration and starvation um that way but go and buy whatever you feel like but at least get the rack excavator i can't tell you how many people forget to get this when they go out there and realize they have to come all the way back to get it then you're going to pull out a box truck if you haven't purchased one a box truck you have to buy from the chuck shop it is ten thousand dollars all right so here you'll see me running into the gun store I purchased a Rook with about five magazines, which is about 150 rounds is more than enough. Um, this is literally just for self-defense and protection. This isn't for any type of real gunfight. Nine times out of 10, if somebody's running up on you with some you know, heavy weapons, you're gonna lose. Then we're gonna buy scuba gear. You're gonna wanna buy the scuba suit, which has the flippers, the uh, diving goggles, and then the rebreather. You need all three of these pieces to be able to you know, conduct a flawless excavation run. The flippers enable you to swim faster, the goggles enable you to see, and the rebreather enables you to breathe. The rebreather, at the very least, is what you do need or you will die. So here you go on the clothing. You're going to buy the dive suit or the wetsuit. Then go to glasses, you buy the diving goggles. And then you're going to go to vests and then you're going to buy the rebreather. Boom. $750 total and you have the entire outfit and you're good to go. Next, we're going to come down to this area. I'll show you in the map exactly where it is. And you're going to review your talents you want to make sure you have at least two open talents open if you don't already have these talents which are going to be something fishy and then you need excavator so for me i already have all 27 of my talent points allocated so i'm going to be clearing talents it's about 15 it is 1500 to clear a talent so you only need two you need to clear two talents which is a total of three thousand dollars if you don't already have one available or both available um the excavator talent, as you can see, faster gathering when excavating shipwrecks. This is for this reason alone. And it obviously crunches that time that you need to be able to get to and from the excavation site and sell the oil and jewelry as need be. So go ahead and purchase those talents. And let's go ahead and get in the water and let's go ahead and start excavating. So when you get in the water, uh, back your truck up facing forward. And then so that enables you to get a quick escape. Now, like I said, there's Kavala, and that's the uh, area down in the south of the peninsula there where we're gonna be excavating. That is the best excavation site out of the entire map. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get in, your rebreather automatically goes on and so do your goggles when you step in the water. You're gonna swim down and you see Grizzly here. That is as far as you need to go. You can't come any closer, but you don't need to go all the way out to the shipwreck, which is the beauty of this location. 
Then you're going to open up your inventory, click on Rec Excavator and click Use. And you're going to see it start to say Searching Rec and it'll start collecting, which is passive. Four minutes later, after surfing YouTube, whatever you want to do, your bag is filled and it'll say Excavation aborted due to movement. You're going to swim back up to the shore and you're going to walk up to your truck, press T, and they're going to start double clicking on all the items. So the items that you want to keep are everything but cocaine, lock picks, and zip ties if you want to mitigate the risk of having a cop walk up to you. If you do have cocaine on you, even if you got it from here, you will get a possession of cocaine charge. So I wouldn't even keep the lock picks and zip ties either because that just takes up ample space that you could have used for something else. So go ahead and put all the rubies, diamonds, pearls, gold doubloons, silver, and oil into your inventory. Some people just take the rubies, flawless diamonds, and oil, but I like to do it all. It shortens the length of time you're out there and then you can get out. So then obviously you're just gonna go ahead and drop all the uh, stuff that you, I told you not to have. And you're gonna go back out there and do it again. Now for defense, this is very important since even though it is a legal area, there are those guys out there who do want to just try to ruin your day. Um, so if somebody walks up, immediately swim to the right. You have the advantage of them not being able to see you. So swim around, stay low, don't come to the surface because then they will be able to see you. So stay low, swim around to this rock, you'll see me here and you're going to hop out on the, the shore. And you're going to sneak around, you're going to hop on these rocks like you'll see me do. Tap two, one, whatever gun you want to use to pull it out immediately. Double double cl uh, click C to get your combat stance up and then peek in third person to see if they're at your trucks trying to loot or steal. Step four is to drop the illegal items. As I was explaining earlier, the lock picks, cocaine, and zip ties. Cocaine definitely needs to be dropped. If a cop pulls you over, you'll get a $6,500 ticket for that. Nah, zip ties and lock picks is your choice, but again, this is just taking up space. So go ahead and just double click it, hit drop, and then be on your way and continue excavating and fill up your inventory and the truck. So 22 minutes is about what it takes to fill up both the truck and your personal backpack full of gold and all the other jewelry that you need. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive back into town and I'll show you on the map here exactly where the oil uh, trader is, which is where we're gonna be selling the oil. So just southeast of Kavala, you'll see the oil trader right there, boom. It looks like a gas station, you're gonna walk inside. Then you're gonna sell the oil, which is step six. So park the truck like I showed you in the uh, Scotch Run video so you'd be able to sell the oil real quick, double click it, uh, sell item, and then you'll be able to hit T on the truck without moving. Boom, just like that. Double click the oil, grab as much as you can, and continue doing this process until all of your oil is sold. In this particular instance, I made about 11.5 or 12K on oil, which is a pretty good run. On average, you'll get 20 to 25. In this specific run, I got 32, so I lucked out and got a really good number. So once you sell all this, try to deposit it into an ATM. If all the ATMs have too many people around it, just either find a way around to find a different ATM or just continue moving on and on to step six, which would be to sell your jewelry. Step seven, excuse me, which would be to sell your jewelry. Again, park your truck up next to the door, enabling e easy access to your uh, truck's inventory to transfer items as need be when selling inside of the jewelry store. So sell what you've got in your inventory if you already have it full. If you haven't, then just throw whatever you can in there and just sell all your jewelry as quickly as possible. Again, you are in the middle of Kavala. Most of the time when people do get robbed, it's either out on the coast or a jewelry store. Um, just understand that when you are selling these items, as you can see up there, nine silver piece for 945, yada, yada, yada. That money that you sold it for is on your person. So if somebody came up behind you, which is another beauty about block, see that guy driving back there. Um, the really good thing about having the blo truck blocking the entrance, it would be a little bit more difficult for somebody to run into the store to be able to rob you immediately. They'd have to go in from behind or they can shoot out the glass and get you from there. But if they start shooting, just run. Um, unless you want to get into a gunfight and try to kill them. But this is why you want to do this as quickly as possible so you can try to you know, minimize the risk of having to even get into a gunfight over your money that's on your body. So sell this stuff as, as quickly as possible. Get to the nearest ATM, which I'll show you here in a second, is Bounty Hunter Shop. And if somebody's there, leave. I don't care if they're a Bounty Hunter or not. I don't trust those guys anyways. Get out of there, go to a different ATM and sell it. Just better safe than sorry. All right, so here I'll show you. I'll go ahead and hop in my truck. And then I went to this ATM building and I deposited all the money because somebody was at Bounty Hunter Shop. $50,681, guys. In 22 minutes, I made over 
So in about an hour, you can be making $150,000 and it's completely legal. So you don't have to worry about cops or anybody like that coming after you. All right, guys. So if you liked the video, go and leave a like and a subscription. If you guys enjoyed it, just let me know in the comment section. Thanks again, guys.